guys this is bianca saxis and you are welcome back to the real ish you know here we do it like nobody else does it and today i'm about to give you guys a video that i think everyone should see before booking their flight to the united states which is seven things that i wish i knew before coming to the united states you know what let's just get right into the video so bringing us to the first thing that i wish i knew it might sound a bit super superficial like very like petty or something but like i really really wish i knew it because of like what i went through i really wish i knew that buying winter jackets and sweaters and like whatever in ghana was a complete waste of time a total waste of time why am i saying this because you should know that in ghana we don't experience like the cold whatever we just experience normal cold so they're selling winter jackets in ghana the winter jackets that they are selling in ghana would not be the quality ones that could like actually um help you adjust to the cold here so you you would buy winter jackets in ghana and you bring it here and then you realize that no you are still feeling very cold and yeah it's because you are not used to but i'm telling you do not pack winter jackets or anything from ghana maybe just buy one winter jacket and then just um get your one or two sweaters and when you come here you buy the good ones yeah they are expensive but then they are of good quality they are durable and then they would actually help you get more comfortable like working in the cold and all that when i came i was just wondering so how are these people were like what I, I used to see on the tv where they would be playing in the snow doing all sorts of things like was it a joke or what no it wasn't a joke it was because they are winter jackets and stuff are like good very um, um musty or like let's say mushy and so they are able to contain heat inside as compared to the um winter jackets in ghana if i'm making sense yes so i really really wish that instead of buying the winter jackets in ghana and putting them in my stuff and you know how winter jackets are so big and all that so making my stuff a whole lot i would have rather put food I'd rather put like five more shito, two more olonkes of gari, and like more sardines and all those things. Involved. Yes, because getting those things here are more expensive. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Exactly. So I wish I knew. I really, really wish I knew that buying winter jackets in Ghana was, was not going to do me any good. The second thing that I wish I knew was that I wish I paid more attention to like the state I was choosing my school in. Most of the time when we are coming over like from africa or from ghana we are a bit desperate we don't really care about oh i don't care about the state if i get a school and the school is giving me good scholarship whatever that's all i care about no actually the state really matters i wish i really paid attention to the state i was coming to so that it would favor the type of person that i am i'm not saying that i don't love ohio but i have friends who have come to this state and they hate it they really really hate it they have to transfer from the school and go to other places and all that so i would advise that you pay attention to the states for instance ohio it's so cold it's terribly cold like even the people in ohio that were like they were born here bred here whatever they are still they still can't get used to the cold because of how bad it is the people who are like very rich here during the um the fall they just travel to the south like texas they're about that's where like it's actually warm and then they can still have time to play and do all sorts of like outdoor games and all that but what i'm trying to say is that be very mindful of the states that you are going to it could also be that the crime rates of the states would be very high especially where the vicinity or the neighborhood that you are going to find yourself in which is not going to be a good thing for you if you don't pay attention to that because you don't want to find yourself in a um, a place where there are so many shootings and things and then your parents brought you here to come and learn and then you'll be shot you don't want that exactly so pay attention to the state it could be the weather it could be um job opportunities it could be how flexible it is it could be how um you are able to like the relationships with people uh, like some neighborhoods or let's say some states are noted to be like um, racist states so you should be careful especially as a black person coming you should take all these things into consideration you shouldn't just think about i just want to come to america anywhere in america like please i like don't be like some of us give up exactly so pay attention to the states that you are going to it will really really help you pay attention to it pay 
attention to it. I mean it. I really, really mean this. So the third thing that I wish I knew is the cultural shocks. Like, I don't mean that I didn't know that I would be experiencing cultural shocks here. I just didn't think that it was going to be mad. <laughs> I didn't really like expect it to be above the roof. I feel like the cultural shocks are also something that you should really take into consideration, put in your mind that you are going to experience like crazy cultural shocks, like you're going to be surprised about a lot of things that people believe. You know when they tell you that, oh, you're going to America, you're going to a different place, the cultural shocks, blah, 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 and everything. Just think like, no, I'm, go I'm going to like handle it. Tough, tough man, tough woman. Yeah, but I'm telling you, yeah, you can handle it. I'm not saying that you can't handle it, you can, but trust me the culture shocks are crazy like for instance in ghana there are lots of things that we do not care about like we i feel like ghana is a place that we really live and i don't care life like since i came here i realized that ghana like ghana or ghanaians like we are really i don't care people like we don't care about anything as compared to like americans so i was really surprised that mm, these people care about a lot of things like they care about everything about people their neighbors like everything in as much as your neighbor is not going to talk to you your neighbor actually knows your rundown your neighbor knows what you are doing he she's he or she's not going to talk to you but he or she knows that okay you're here you're there like they know you it's not really like stalking but should anything happen they could give information about you where what you've been doing like on a normal basis like you get what i'm trying to exactly another thing too with the cultural shocks is that like you're going to hear and experience like i don't know if maybe um i would say that america makes their students or their children like very very vocal about what they feel how they feel like their thoughts everything they just say everything they're honest people very very like honest people i promise americans are so honest it's also like a cultural shock that i would say i realized so they are so honest their students say everything on their mind they are going to like talk about anything with you like they don't really care somebody you are just working about somebody could be telling you about her life story her husband everything i'm just like hey wait what's going on here like it was a big culture shock to me because in ghana you, you are supposed to mind your business you can't just see a pregnant woman and ask her that when are you due they would say you're a witch you're a wizard that woman would start spraying holy water on you like come on this is ghana do you get what i'm trying to say but in america it's like a normal conversation like for a pregnant woman you see the pregnant woman you're like oh so when are you due like um is the baby a girl or a boy like you know if the baby the gender of the baby like everything you're allowed and it's so normal to them you don't really care about it but in ghana hey masa don't let them blow you like <laughs> they'll bite you please don't go and do that in ghana another thing too was that there are lots of things that you hear from people like in class it was here that i got to know that some people actually do not want to give birth in their life like some women like some girls in my class they don't want to give birth i was just like mm, okay okay when i heard that i was very very surprised there are lots of things that like it, it shocked me it shocked me to the bone like you but <laughs> yeah so i'll say that the culture shocks here are crazy like crazy i'm just saying like a few but when you get here you realize how crazy it is you guys if you want me to talk about if you want me to like delve more into the cultural shocks that i had here just let me know i'm trying to make this um video very short so just let me know i'll dive more into it you are going to hear crazy crazy stuff i promise <laughs> the one thing that i wish i knew enough was that i know that i have spoken about food but i'll say food again that i wish that i packed enough food i wish that i knew that i would have left all my clothing and packed enough food enough food enough food i mean enough food i know <laughs> yes let me tell you something since i came to america especially with where i live and all that where i live i really like it it goes with like my aesthetics right so i'm, I'm actually okay with where i live but I don't have food where I live because it's not in the city. It's not a diverse place. Do you get it? I can actually go and buy food stuff and all, but you know, it's not every time that you wish that you would cook. Do you get it? And I've had enough of the burgers. I've had enough of the mac and cheese. I've had enough of like all these Italian, Mexican like stuff. I just wish that there was like um, an African restaurant too nearby. And then maybe I could just order for food like once a while when I'm just like tired of cooking. I could also just order for food 
and it's something that i miss so much and that makes me miss ghana that's the only thing i'm not even going to lie here that's the only thing that makes me miss ghana the food like food 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 i beg i want some watchy I want some banquet and okra stew. Like, I miss it so much. I miss, like, the fact that I'll just go and sit somewhere and then, like, eat fufu and soup, like, with my friends and all those things. If you want to do that, you, we have to drive two hours to Columbus, which, like, which is not fair. I just wish that there was a place where I live that would um like where they had a restaurant or a canteen with like diverse foods where i could just go and buy a Ghanaian food at any time that i want you get it enough of like the burgers as i said earlier and those um other chinese italian I'm, I'm just really tired of it i just wish that i knew so much that i would have packed enough food during that time and even during that time when i came afresh you know when you are not so like um comfortable with the neighborhood and you don't know anything like you don't know anyone anywhere so you just have to live with the like on the food that you brought like the little food that you brought or the the school food and i'm telling you how bad the school food is it's it is bad you can't even eat it yeah it i get frustrated talking about it but i'm telling you the gospel truth if you guys don't bring food and you and you are, you get you find yourself you know also think about the fact that you you were someone who didn't really think about the state you were going to and you find yourself in a state where like a secluded place where um you are almost out of town and you have only mexican you have only beggars and things you really suffer because you would wish that you would buy like get to buy food and cook for yourself or maybe buy food outside do you get what i'm trying to say exactly so Please, I'm stressing on it that pack food, even if it is gari, shito, and sardine, pack it. Do not, like, don't let, do you know, you know something? You can actually, eh, you see the way when you're traveling, you're so much now, you're like, oh, you don't even want this kind of food. If you, do, you just pack your things and go, eh? And you will get here within three or two days. Not all those things have, like, vanished from, like, the whole um, adrenaline that you wanted to travel so fast, you wanted to come to America when hunger pursue you that's when you realize that mm, i should have the food that you were saying oh no no you don't want to eat the food you know that adrenaline that you don't like you are, you are going somewhere and so you don't want to eat any food you don't want to do anything huh. two or three days time when the whole thing the eye starts building inside of you that's when you, you remember me in this video that i said pack enough food pack enough food <laughs> number five that i'm coming to talk about is a very serious issue and like i feel people should actually like um put more importance into it like attach more importance to it because it's very serious what i'm about to talk about is healthcare system here in america here in the u.s the healthcare system here is very very dicey to be very honest i would say that immediately you step in america just know that you would need your insurance get your insurance immediately you step in america immediately and have your insurance back in ghana too so that in case anything happens and then let's say for instance you are you feel like it's too expensive you can't do it here in the u.s you go back home and go and do whatever that you have to do i wish i knew that the healthcare system here is, is so expensive it's crazily expensive so you need an insurance because anything can happen you're a human being like, yeah we don't pray for bad things but anything can really happen no matter how expensive it is get an insurance immediately you get to the u.s um even given you can actually google given birth here costs like eighty thousand dollars for some people and after insurance takes over they are still paying huge amounts of money once again healthcare here is very expensive even if you have insurance after you go um, to the hospital, whatever, they bring your bill. After your insurance, it's still expensive, my, my sister. Very, very expensive. One health insurance which I would recommend is ISO. It's very good for international students. So get health insurance, my brother. Don't go and do yourself can't pay, can't pay because of um, $200 that you pay. So you not get health insurance. Hey, it will shock you. It will over you. So number six on what I wish I knew is that i wish that i'd come to like the u.s earlier before my start date the school was supposed to start on the 14th of march and then i got here on the 11th of march so 
it was just two days i just had a weekend to prepare for school which made me i didn't know what to, i didn't even realize that it got to a point i didn't realize that i was actually coming here for school because of like the excitedness the g3 like all about so i didn't it felt like i don't know was i really coming for school i was like i was not prepared for school i was only prepared for the travel i was not prepared for school so i just wish that i had maybe a week you know if i'd come let's say two weeks before something to get adjusted to the place get to know my surroundings get to like learn a bit more get to know where my class is supposed to be at like certain little little stuff that i wish i knew um before like the whole school thing started so i just had two days like i just just had saturday and sunday and that saturday and sunday i was just like indoors because it was so cold for me it was terrible and i just was eating gary and shit all like you get the whole thing felt like but i was just happy just because i had come here so i was just happy thinking back to everything i wish that i came like two weeks before then i would like get used to everything get to find the coolest spot know where my class was like get to have a like a good tour of the school before we actually had a mini tour but it was not like a really good tour where i was even understanding anything that anybody was saying because i was just so happy yeah the honeymoon phase right so number eight on what i wish i really knew was not to actually listen to all these people who were saying that like they were actually comparing their um, u.s educational system to ghana educational system saying that the u.s educational system is easier you can pass easily you um, come from um, ghana and you are the bottom of the class and then you come to the u.s and you are number one it's a lie my sister a very big lie okay maybe that's for high school i didn't go to high school here but for the university, I'm telling you, it is a lie. You need to put in more effort, a lot of effort. For my school like this, from 93 to 9800 upwards, that's A, A plus, right? 93 to 90 is A, A minus, right? And then 89 downwards, it's also B. So in Ghana, 89 used to be A. 89 is a that's what i know i didn't go to uni in ghana but um legon i know that 89 is a some people will say a lot of things but please you can't convince me you can't advise me you can't tell me that the educational system in ghana is easier than the one in the u.s no it's never true i wish i knew that the educational system in the u.s is much more difficult than the educational system in ghana so my dear if you are coming here just know that you are coming to sit your bottles down and learn and do your assignments do everything you are supposed to do you go to class i'm i don't know but in ghana i don't know maybe if you go to class you still be whatever but here um attendance is part of like your sum up like your grade it's part of your grade so you always have to be in class like please the educational system in, in um the us is not as easy as you think so if you are coming here just get ready that you are coming to put in effort you are coming to learn you are coming to um do good stuff like just know and it's off again so guys thank you so much thank you so much for watching um if you guys want me to give you things i wish more that i knew guys just let me know in the comment section and i will bring you more more wishes that i would have wished if I was in Ghana. Hmm? Okay, so you guys, just let me know. I love you all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.